Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Nila Mukherjee. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I practice in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. I am also the founder and the CEO of Novo Nation Immigration Consulting. When you are banned from entering Canada, in other words, when you are inadmissible from entering Canada, you can still make an attempt to come to Canada through a process. It's called temporary resident permit, not a temporary resident visa, TRV, but it is called TRP. As a part of that application, you really have to show that your entry to Canada or your potential presence to Canada will not impact Canadians health and safety and security, etc. As long as you're able to prove that, as long as you're able to satisfy IRCC, your TRP application will be granted. Now, uh, when you apply for a TRP, a few things that you have to mandatorily keep in mind. Firstly, it's the discretion of the officer. In other words, if an officer is satisfied, if an officer looking at your application, if an officer is satisfied that yes, indeed, you should come to Canada, number one, and then your presence to, in Canada will not impact the safety of Canadians, it should be fine. So as long as you're able to satisfy, that's all right. In other words, how detailed your explanation is, how thorough your explanations are, how <clears throat> strong you're able to cite relevant case laws, how strongly you're able to cite your part of the story, how strongly you're, you know, you're able to cite relevant sections of the humanitarian and compassionate considerations. That is the make or break. These are the factors that are actually the make or break of the TRP application. The processing time for TRP applications, irrespective of the countries, um, is typically in between two to three months. Now, sometimes I have seen files taking longer if the person is inadmissible due to some kind of security concerns in the past but other than that two to three months kind of a processing time is what you're looking at the success of of a trp application becomes higher if you have your spouse your husband wife living already living in canada for example if your husband is a student here in canada and if you are inadmissible due to whatever reason and if you are able to prove that you still need to come to canada to be able to live with your husband for a period of time for a specified period of time those kind of applications are the one with, with the higher success rate because there is a genuine need of the agency aspect here right now <clears throat> when somebody is inadmissible due to security concerns that gets a little bit tricky if somebody is inadmissible uh, from canada due to some criminality that's the situation that gets really tricky in that case immigration officer needs to do additional background check at the time of reviewing the trp application and hence obviously the processing time would go up but generally that's the one like two three months kind of a processing time is what you're looking at success rate i have already mentioned another important factor that you have to understand is the processing fee the government processing fee the government if you already have a valid a valid biometrics, the government takes about 300 Canadian dollars to process your application. Now, just to give you our, <clears throat> like a comparative figure, for a normal temporary resident visa application, you just have to pay 100 bucks, 85 bucks goes to the biometric, right? In this case, if you do not have a biometric, then you are paying $385. So which means that if the government is taking more money from you, which by default means that the application is a complicated application, the government needs a little more time than the usual application to process your application. And hence, make sure if you are to, first of all, try to understand if you qualify, to apply for a trp application because never ever never make a trp application unless and until you're absolutely sure you are qualified for it because not every kind of inad inadmissibility is countered with the help of a trp application if you qualify make sure to give you 200 percent to come out with a solid proper submission if you will right now if you are not sure about anything, come for a consultation, discuss, and then proceed with it. But what I do not want is that you just submit a TRP application without knowing all the nitty gritties of it, then the TRP is getting refused, and then you are coming for a consultation. From our experience, we have successfully given TRPs to candidates with prior TRP refusals, but those were not the easy processes to handle, to be honest. Those are very, very complicated ones. The decision-making time at IRCCN would be higher on those kind of processes as well. As an organization, we specialize in various kinds of uh, procedural fairness, criminal, uh, criminal admissibility, authorization to return to Canada, TRP. So if you need our professional assistance or our suggestions, our legal suggestions with your case, make sure to go to the website, 
novonation.ca, book a relevant professional consultation. I'll be more than happy uh, to review everything to tell you what needs to be done, when and how. I hope this helps. See you guys in the next one. Bye now.